Fox 9's Christopher King spoke one on one with her mom and dad, who believe she's in serious danger. The Carroll County Sheriff's Office is investigating the case of this missing teen. Kaylee Jones' parents say she's autistic and they she may have gone in with the Renda and Jones said goodnight to their daughter Kaylee last Tuesday night. On Wednesday, they woke up there. She was gone in the morning. Their 16-year-old daughter vanished from their home in Carroll County that night. Horrible. Um, worried. Scared of where she might be. Kaylee is autistic and she takes special medication. She's very loving, very kind, very uh, overly sensitive. Her parents believe she met the wrong person online. She's susceptible, kind of naive, I guess, to this stuff. Grimline. Now they're terrified of what may have happened to her. We think she's a victim of sex trafficking. Is she in danger? Yes. Yes. This is the message to the person or people Kaylee may be with. Please bring her back. Bring her home. Oh, no, don't hurt her. <laughs> bring her home. She's she's <laughs> she's got a, life, a lot of life ahead of her still, and just just let her go. Bring her home. Let her go, so we can try to give her the help she needs, and she can hopefully live out the rest of her life. Again, Kaylee Jones is 16. She stands about 5'8". She weighs about 135 pounds. Call the Carroll County Sheriff's Office or 911 if you have any information on her whereabouts. In Carroll County, Christopher King, Fox 5 News. So this is Kaylee Jones. She was last seen June the 14th in the area of Wolpen Creek Church Road in Carlton. Oh, guys, am I sorry about that? Um, her parents are particularly worried about her because she has special needs. So we just saw in the video there that she is a special needs child and they think that she's been sex trafficked. It goes on further in the article to say that she was speaking to a 20 some odd year old, 20 to a 22 year old man that she had met, were interviewed by the police and cleared. However, the young man told police that teens also snug out of the house a few weeks ago and her parents had no idea. Guys, I was a teenage girl once. I was known for sneaking out. I was a professional at sneaking out. So I'm not going to say that she's not a runaway, but guys, this is an autistic kid. I will be attaching a poster. I'm going to try to PDF it.